Do you feel this man? Do you feel this man is guilty for the death of your father? I, I, I have no doubt that this person was supporting the Cuban regime, uh, and the Cuban regime used that support to commit act of terror as the one that they commit against my father. So yes, we can, we we are gonna to uh, persist in our effort for uh, this man to be on the kinds of uh, helping and abating the Cuban regime to commit act of terrorism as the one. And the we're Cuban pursuing fans. a civil now you're pursuing a civil lawsuit. That's what we can do. What are you what are you asking for in the civil lawsuit? Uh, well, one of the one of the charges is, is precisely that to uh, to help and abate the Cuban regime to commit act of terrorism, wrongful death in the case of my father and Harold Severo. And of course, this is about justice for my family, uh, but this is also about uh, national security for the U.S. The Cuban regime was not only has been not only exporting cigars; they have been exporting terrorism, and and there is. It's a time in history to uh, to stop that, to put a stop to, to the impunity of the regime and the impunity of the accomplices that are among us. We just saw. Thank you. What did it mean for you to have the judge really insist on this issue of restitution being included in this plea agreement, insisting that even if we don't know who they are today, there have to be victims of this man's actions? Did that mean something to you? We deeply appreciate the the deepness that uh, the judge used in executing each of the portions of this uh, of this plea deal, uh, especially regarding victims, it was almost it was kind of frustrating to listen to the part of the U.S. government almost defending uh, uh, the opposite. Uh, I really appreciate. The, the work of, of the judge, I think it is clear that there are victims, um, and that's why we continue with uh, with uh, uh, with our suit, with our with our demand, and we hope that um, that this process will lead us to some to some truth. And if you don't mind, for people not familiar with your family story, can you tell us the name of your father and what? concerns you have about the Cuban government's role in his death? Yes, the facts are the following. Uh, my father, Paul Bayan, was leader of the, of the Cuban uh, opposition. He was killed by the Cuban regime together with a dear friend, Gustavo Sotero, in July 22nd, uh, 2012. The Inter-American Commission for Human Rights found the Cuban regime responsible for the death of my father and, and Harry Cervero during during that period, uh, before and after the killing of my father, Victor Manuel Rocha was an advisor to the commander of the South Command of the U.S. that oversees uh, that oversees Cuba. So my mother is pursuing uh, a lawsuit under the charges of wrongful death in the case of my, of my father, and also uh, for the charges of helping and abating the, 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 the Cuban regime to commit act of terrorism. Did Mr. Rocha's apology mean anything to you? He didn't apologize. He didn't apologize to the victims. I, I, I never heard that. Or what, what was your reaction to what he said in court, saying that he was radicalized in the 70s and he's deeply apologetic to, you're correct, he said to his family, to his former colleagues and his friends. My friends are now in jail in Cuba and they didn't enjoy all the privilege that this spy just had in front of our eyes. Uh, there has been no apology, uh, and of course that, uh, that the Cuban people deserve an apology, the American people deserve an apology, but we are interested in justice. We are interested in, 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 in the truth, and we are interested, interested in putting an end to the impunity of the regime and its accomplices.